hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from matt Walsh and it's titled the media bed control cover up is slowly unraveling you guys i'm super excited for this if you're here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about washington post as you may know has been hemorrhaging subscribers and web traffic for years late last year the paper conducted yet another round of layoffs impacting hundreds of employees uh, jeff bezos purchased the paper for 250 million dollars a decade ago and last year alone it managed to lose roughly 100 million dollars so this is not a profitable venture and in normal circumstances businesses that lose this much money don't stay around very long but the washington post has stuck around. Jeff Bezos has kept it on life support to fulfill a specific mission, which is to harangue and censor independent voices on behalf of Jeff Bezos' donors and the Democratic Party. A couple of days ago, that mission was on full display. On March 21st, the Washington Post published an article entitled, Women Are Getting Off Birth Control Amid Misinformation Explosion. The Daily Beast ran a similar story warning ominously of an explosion of women who are ditching birth control amid a misinformation blitz. Hmm. Now, first of all, it needs to be said, of course, that, as we know, any time the media collectively decides to label something misinformation, they really mean information that we find personally or politically inconvenient. They're not interested in proving you wrong. They're interested in shutting you up. And that's exactly what's happening here. Quoting from the Washington Post piece, Brett Cooper, a media commentator for the conservative Daily Wire, argued in a viral TikTok clip that birth control can impact fertility, cause women to gain weight, and even alter whom they are attracted to. It racked up over 219,000 likes before TikTok removed it following the Post's inquiry. Mm. Now, the piece uh, goes on to describe other similar videos that the Post also wants to be deleted from the internet. For example, uh, there's this one from Ben Shapiro's show a year ago. Watch. Yeah, I mean, the actual story here, I mean, I'm a New Yorker. I'm not in some sort of conservative bubble. And I wanted to go off the pill myself after thinking more critically about it during the pandemic and thinking about what taking these exogenous hormones might mean. And as soon as I started telling my friends, I realized virtually all my young female friends, including my progressive ones, were having the same thoughts because, mm -hmm. of course, taking an exogenous pill of hormones every single day would affect the way that you see the world around you, oh, the way that your brain yeah, works. And true. the more that I went down this rabbit hole, I realized that there is this wealth of information and researchers who have been looking into the effects of the hormonal birth control pill on women's psychology. And it's been completely just untouchable. And like, as you mentioned, the third rail, because of course there was the Dobbs decision recently. And there's a sense that if you criticize birth control at all, period, you're, you're criticizing it as an idea, which of course I'm not, but I think that there is attention that needs to be paid to giving women as much information as possible to make the best choices for themselves. Now it's hard to imagine. It's hard to imagine a more anodyne clip than that. This is not a woman making up crazy unhinged conspiracy theories about birth control, whatever those would be. She's not expressing some dangerous unscientific opinion. Mm -hmm. If an opinion can even be dangerous, she doesn't even appear to be political. She's just articulating a very reasonable, increasingly common concern, which is that taking unnatural hormones might have some unexpected and unwanted effects on the human body. Of course, it's even if you don't know anything about the scientific data on this point, yeah, that's not a crazy thing to believe. I mean, it seems uh, it just seems intuitively true that there are going to at the very at a very minimum be side effects uh, when you do something like that, that. But as the clip goes on, they do talk about some of the research on this point, And none of this is quack science. It's widely accepted in medical literature. For example, a recent study out of Denmark published in the American Journal of Psychiatry found that, quote, hormonal contraception use doubles the risk of suicide attempts and triples mm -hmm. the risk of suicide. The study specifically found that, quote, the association between hormonal contraception and primary outcomes peaked at two months, but continued even after the cessation of hormonal contraception for some years. The researchers also reported that hormonal contraceptives were connected with a 70% increase in rates of depression. Yeah, now, that's true. before I get into the specifics of what other studies have found, it's important to pause here and take another look at how the Washington Post is framing this story. So here's the first paragraph, quote, Search for birth control on TikTok or Instagram and a cascade of misleading videos uh, vilifying hormonal contraception appear. Wow, you guys, what are your thoughts on birth control? There are some birth control that are very, very detrimental to the health of women. And 
it does not only increase their chances of being highly depressed but also it makes women so so moody to the point that you don't even recognize who they are anymore let me know what you guys think about birth control over here in africa most people especially young women they are not into birth control as much as young ladies in the western world leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and let's continue watching you guys Young women blaming their weight gain on the pill, right-wing commentators claiming that some birth control can lead to infertility, testimonials complaining of depression and anxiety. Physicians say they're seeing an explosion of birth control misinformation online targeting a vulnerable demographic. Now, the implication of what the Post wrote is that it's misinformation to say that birth control is related to depression and anxiety, but that's not true. At no point in the Washington Post article did they debunk the study from Denmark. They don't even mention it. Instead, they simply state, as a matter of fact, that you're crazy if you link birth control to weight gain, infertility, depression. They claim the only significant side effects of birth control medication are blood clots, but, but, uh, but they're just wrong on all accounts. And one of the main reasons they're wrong is that hormonal birth control inhibits the body's natural reaction to stress. As a UCLA health study put it late last year, quote, Researchers at the UCLA Department of Psychiatry and Biobehavioral Sciences Laboratory for Stress Assessment and Research found contraceptive users and non-users process stress differently at the molecular, le molecular level, with contraceptive users also reporting a more negative psychological response to stress compared to non-users. Now, is it possible that disrupting the body's natural stress response might lead to weight gain, given that weight gain is one of the most common symptoms of stress? The Washington Post thinks you're a science denier if you even suggest that. They'll have you pulled off TikTok if you even mention the possibility. President Joe Biden called on the power of women to help restore Roe v. Wade and abortion on demand during this, his annual State of the Union address. Wow, what an explosion of misinformation you just saw there. And I guess we're expected to believe that at some point between May and this week, the science changed. But, of course, it didn't. Mm -hmm. Going back to the UCLA study, researchers confirmed existing research which found that, quote, hormonal contraceptive pills may increase women's risk for chronically elevated inflammation, which carries the long-term risk of developing illnesses such as cancer, cardiovascular disease, and autoimmune disorders, as well as potential mood disorders, including depression. The lead author at UCLA added that, quote, cortisol gets a bad rap, but increases in cortisol in response to stress help the body manage stressful situations. If women on the pill are having these increases in cortisol, but their mood is getting worse, it could mean that the pill is preventing their bodies and minds from returning to normal uh, following stress. Now, the truth is that hormonal birth control does come with all kinds of risks and side effects. All drugs do. And drugs that suppress the normal, healthy functions of the body are always going to be especially risky. Drugs that you're taking that are meant to... Uh, cure something that is not a disease, such as like the, the natural fertility, a woman's natural fertility, that's, that's not a disease, it's not an illness. And so when you're taking something that is suppressing a part of your body that is not defective, it's going to have an impact on your body. And that includes potential impacts on fertility, as much as the Washington Post doesn't want to admit it. Like right now, if you go to the Planned Parenthood website, you'll find that they recommend a method of hormonal birth control known as the uh, depo shot. You guys, one thing is that anything that disrupts the natural, the natural working of a system or a body must have some disadvantages. And since the birth control is designed to make women not to get pregnant, the body is not working in its natural state. Therefore, women whose body has been disturbed by the working of birth control must experience one or two discomfort coming from their body because of the effect of birth control in their bodies. Have you ever experienced any of these side effects as a result of birth control? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up, you guys. Quote, the depot shot is an injection you get once every three months. It's a safe, convenient and private birth control method that works really well if you always get it on time. Now, what Planned Parenthood doesn't mention on their website is that the depot shot has clear and proven impacts on fertility. This is from the WMD, w, uh, the WebMD website, rather, which on most days, the Washington Post agrees is a reliable source, but here's what they say, quote, injectable birth control, uh, unlike other forms of hormonal birth control, it may be harder to get pregnant after you stop getting these shots. It may take 10 months or more before you ovulate again. For some women, it will take up to 18 months for periods to start again. So this is a method of hormonal birth control that does impact fertility after you stop, stop taking it. In fact, it can make 
women infertile for a very long time. This isn't some conspiracy theory, and neither is the idea that hormonal birth control can contribute to weight gain, depression, suicide. The same sources that the left tells us to trust at every opportunity, established medical researchers, are very clear on this. But the trust the science crowd has suddenly become very distrusting of science when it comes to this. And that's not the only platitude that they're abandoning in order to censor anyone who speaks critically about birth control. Uh, you may recall My Body, My Choice. And these people really believed in the My Body, My Choice mantra. They would celebrate or at least accept that an increasing number of young women are choosing to forego birth control. But they can't celebrate it and they can't even accept it. And they can't even allow women to talk about it in public on these platforms because birth control is central to their cultural agenda. With fewer women on the pill, more women will become mothers. Some of them will drop out of the workforce and discover fulfillment and happiness as wives, as homemakers. And, and this is the real crisis that the Washington Post and the other left-wing rags are worried about. The last thing that the elites want to see is a movement of women fully embracing their own womanhood and men fully embracing their manhood. A, a move back towards the family, away from materialism, away from self-preoccupation, towards marriage, towards parenthood. That's what they don't want to see. These people have been waging a war on the family for decades. And the birth control pill was their nuclear bomb. The family is the greatest threat to them. And a society full of families, of intact, happy families with attentive mothers and strong fathers, that is a society that has rendered these people basically powerless. That is their fear. And they fear it like they fear nothing else. And then politically, of course, we know that unhappy career middle managers at Citibank are one of the core constituencies of the Dem Democratic Party. And if those people rebel, well, Democrats will have real trouble winning another election. And they're willing to do anything, including lying to women about the serious and even fatal drug side effects of, uh, of birth control and so many other drugs to prevent that from happening. Wow, you guys, what are your thoughts on this video? And throw more light on what you know about birth control. And I really enjoy what Matt was said in this video. I love how he shed more light on the body not being ill. And you are taking drugs to suppress what is not sick. Of course, there's going to be side effects to taking birth control, especially when the body is not sick and you are taking drugs to suppress the normal functionality of that body. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.